Oh no! Did you hear that? It's thunder! It's gonna start to rain! Have you ever looked up in the sky and saw those nice fluffy clouds? Do you ever wonder, what's a cloud? And what makes a cloud a cloud? Well, let me explain to you very easy. All it is, is a bunch of water droplets clumped together. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Now, we know what a cloud is, but how do those water droplets actually get up there? I wanna show you how it actually works with a really cool experiment. Let me show you. Now for this experiment, we're gonna use a few different things and they're gonna actually represent different stuff in our sky. So for the first part is we need a jar. This jar is gonna be our atmosphere. Then we need boiling water. Now our water, it's gonna be our water. That's not changing. And then we need hairspray. For the hairspray, this is actually gonna be all the dust, the dirt, the pollen in the sky. So we need that. And we're gonna need ice and our lid. This is gonna be our sky. Now let me show you when we put it together. This is so cool. So we're gonna start with our water. So when you boil water on the stove, what happens? As it starts to boil, the water decreases and it turns into water vapor because it starts to evaporate. So that's what's gonna happen here. We're gonna add our water in first. Can you see it? There's already steam. Add a little bit more. So that's our water vapor. You can't see it very well yet because we haven't made a cloud yet. For the water vapor to actually condense into a water droplet, it needs to attach to something. So we're gonna attach it to our dust, our dirt, our pollen that's in the sky, and we're gonna use our hairspray. That's what this represents. So we put that in here. There we go. Now we have to add our sky. We're gonna put our sky in and we're gonna add ice to the top. And the reason we're adding ice is because up in the sky, it gets really cold. So we have to use our ice. So what's happening here, let me explain. The water vapor is going up and it's attaching to the dirt and everything. And what it's doing is as it's attaching and going higher in the sky, it turns into a water droplet. But the water droplets, they're so tiny. How can I make a cloud? Well, what it does is one droplet bangs into another droplet and they start dancing around and they start bumping into each other and they get bigger and bigger and bigger till they make a cloud. Now let's check on our cloud. How's that coming? Oh, did you see that? It's starting to brew. Look at all that. That's actually a cloud. It's condensing and it's attaching to everything. That looks really good. That's awesome. Let me see this side. Pretty cool. Now, do you think we should release the cloud into the sky? Let's do that. Get a closer look. It's gonna come from the top, okay? Let's see what happens. One, two, three. Whoa, look at that. That's amazing. We made a cloud in a jar. How awesome is that? Can you see me through the cloud? <laughs> That's so awesome. Isn't that interesting? Now let's see if we can make a really big cloud with these three. Now, let's do the steps together. First, our water. One, two, three. And what's our next step gonna be? Our dust and pollution, which is the hairspray. One spray, two, three. And add our skies for the last one. Add our sky. Okay, we got all three steps and our clouds are brewing. Now we're gonna have to wait a few minutes. So what can we do? Let's dance. I think we're ready. 
How are they looking? They came out good. Now let's release them into the sky. See what happens. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm so excited. Here we go. Look at this. Whoa, look at these clouds we made. Can you see me through the clouds? It's like I made a potion. Cool. Isn't that awesome? Now we learned how to make clouds, but now how do those water droplets that are up in the clouds come back down? Well, I want to show you something different. Now for this experiment, we are making a rain cloud, but not any ordinary rain cloud. We're going to make a rainbow rain cloud. This is so exciting. Okay. So we have our water here that we need. We need our shaving cream and some food coloring. Now, before we start, I want to show you something really cool. Come on. I'm going to come with me. I want you to look at my face. Now come a little bit lower. That's right. And we're going to go this way. I look pretty normal, right? Okay. Now follow me this way. Ready? Here we go. How do I look? You guys look a little funny to me. Hi guys. I look better now, right? Let's try it one more time. Come on, let's do some silly faces together. Uh, hi! <laughs> let's make our rain cloud now, come on. We're gonna start with our water here. And we're gonna add our shaving cream. Shake it up, really good. Okay, we're gonna add it to the top. Here we go. Now this, whew, now that's gonna be our cloud this time, okay? Now, what are we gonna do? Well, we have to make our cloud rain. And clouds are so cool because they have a lot of water droplets in there. Remember I showed you before? But now we have to make it rain. So when there's so much water droplets inside, it gets really heavy and the clouds can't hold too much. So what it does is it starts to rain. So we're gonna do rain now okay so these are going to be our water droplets this time and we're going to keep adding to see how heavy and how much the actual cloud can hold okay here we go let's ride our yellow first see how much this rain cloud can hold before it starts to rain let's add some other colors now we have some blue here is it raining yet Ooh, this cloud can hold a lot of rain coming out oh I see something I see some action right there there's blue here comes the green and the red wow that's coming out awesome awesome that's coming out super cool now we got the yellow coming through here looks cool So awesome! Look at those colors! Now that's how you make a rainbow rain cloud. Wasn't this experiment super cool? Well, if you like it, don't forget, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my DD videos, don't forget, hit the red subscribe button. See you next time, friends, and thanks for watching. Bye!